Welcome back everyone, it's Garland here bringing you another Neverwinter video. Uh, and today we are going to be going over the hunting system for Mod 14 Ravenloft. Now in Mod 14, the hunting system has changed a slight bit. It is now different from Mod 12 and Mod 13. You're no longer going to be hunting uh, special rare mobs to get their trophies to turn into lures. Uh, now it is a hunting system where you're going to be getting wanted posters and the hunts themselves are going to be instances. So it is better in my personal opinion from the previous mechanics uh, and without further ado we're going to jump right into it. Now first and foremost you're going to make sure you have to do the tutorial. So the Dire Fang tutorial is in the normal introduction and tutorial quests when you get to Ravenloft. Now you don't have to do these right away, but in order to get the wanted posters to drop from the mobs in the map, you are going to have to do the initial tutorial Dire Fang hunt. So let's go ahead and move right into the posters off the bat. All right guys, and we are going to be moving on to the posters themselves. So the wanted posters come in three tiers, tier one, tier two, and tier three. And there's three of each of these for a total of nine wanted posters or nine hunts altogether. Now for the tier one posters, these are the ones that you're gonna be farming in the map itself. Now to get the tier two posters, they only drop from the tier one posters. It is a tier system. And then furthermore, to get the tier threes, they only drop from the tier two posters. So essentially you're gonna be farming a whole bunch of tier one posters around the base map. And then when you accumulate a bunch of these, you're gonna run them and hopefully get some tier twos to drop and then eventually get some tier threes to drop. So as far as the tier one posters go, uh, you're gonna get 50 seals of the brave, one omen, some Barovian coins, and then each hunt itself has a chance to drop some hunt gear. Now the drop rate and ratio, uh, in my opinion, is a little higher than previous mods. However, it's still rather low overall. So for Tier 1 posters, we do have Lycosa. We have Bulgara. And we have Gnarly Jack. Now, as I mentioned, these are all the three Tier 1 posters that you're going to be farming right from the base map. Now, the Tier 2 posters, which are going to drop from Tier 1 at, again, not the best drop ratio, we have the Puppet, Kuska, and good old Nemi. Now, as far as the Tier 2 posters, you're still going to be rewarded 50 Seal of the Brave. However, it's going to increase to 2 Omens per, po per poster, as well as 10 Barovian Coins. Now the tier threes, or the end game as far as the hunts go, the sisters, which is a in-demand poster for the hills, obviously for melee. Then you have Rasmanka, which again is in demand for casters for the hags rags. And then finally we have Lazaric, which no one really cares about. Now the tier threes, again, are gonna give you 50 seals of the brave. However, it's going to increase to 5 omens per run, as well as 25 Barovian coins per run. Now you're going to notice that uh, they only stack to 10. Uh, unfortunately, they don't stack to 99 or 999. They only stack uh, up to 10 posters. Now you can, of course, accumulate more of these. Uh, however, as far as one stack is concerned, you can only have 10 in one stack. So that's going to pretty much wrap it up for the posters, guys. Uh, I do want to say that these are tradable. You can actually put these on the auction house. So the days of sitting in the zone and auctioning that you want to trade these for SMOPs 
or GMOPs or whatever you're trying to trade, uh, you can simply actually just sell the wanted posters themselves on the auction house, which is a very good addition. Uh, I'm glad they did this that way. It eliminates, you know, having to sit there and try to sell for a commodity that uh, you may or may not even need in the first place. So these can be sold. Uh, you'll have to check your platform for the prices. Most of this is already oversaturated, so you can pretty much not even have to farm tier ones if you don't want to, and you can simply buy them for uh, pretty cheap for the most part. So let's go ahead and move on to where you're going to actually start farming these tier ones. All right, guys, and moving right along on your screen now is a map, uh, courtesy of the prophet himself. So you're going to mainly want to be looking for the elite werewolves, the arch druids, the berserkers, witches, vampires, and the honor guard, which is also vampires. So there's four quadrants uh, on the map. Uh, I typically like to do witches, berserkers, and archdruids myself. However, if you want to do werewolves or vampires, that's completely up to you. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to this map so you always have it for future reference. So, for purpose of the videos and length of the video, I'm going to just show two of the four uh, rotations that I like to do. Now, these are forming the Tier 1 Wanted posters. So, first on the list, we're going to do the witches so if we quickly look at our map and cross reference the map that i just showed you guys we're going to be doing a rotation very quickly right here uh, and hopefully we can get uh, a map to drop just so i can show you guys so you're going to be looking for the mobs that have five hp bars guys uh, anything else in the map is going to be a placeholder uh, however, you can kill those as they will drop the cards for the Tararoka deck. However, if you're mainly just forming the posters, you're going to want to look for those uh, monsters that only have 5 HP bars. So you can clearly see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The witches will drop posters. So we'll go ahead and run through this rotation, see if we get lucky, and see if we can actually get... Uh, a poster to drop for purposes of the video obviously now like i said all these other uh, mobs in the zone they only have three hp bars uh, they're essentially just placeholders on the map now these will drop barovian cards so if you want to kill everything in your rotations that's completely up to you if you're trying to complete your taroka deck or you just want to form additional cards for your taroka deck uh, then you can go ahead and kill everything but if you're just solely after poster farming, you want to stick to the mobs that are actually going to drop it. Now, one of my um, dislikes of the mod, unfortunately, is going to be uh, that they didn't mark these mobs. So, in mod 13, they introduced a system where they actually had an icon next to the mob's name that said, Hey, uh, this is a rare mob that you need to kill this for... Uh, you know the trophy or the items well they they took that out in mod 14 I'm not sure why they didn't add that that way. There's no confusion uh, For people that don't know exactly what they're killing uh, Thankfully you guys have me and other content creators uh, That make videos to tell you what to kill uh, But it didn't make sense to me why they would add a feature in mod 13 and then immediately take it out the next mod I thought it was a good feature. So I'm not sure why they didn't include it in mod 14. So we're going to go ahead and finish this rotation here. Like I said, you basically want to just run in one giant circle, kill all the witches, and you know, you could do this for hours upon hours. Uh, the posters do, I believe, have a higher drop rate than previous mods. So there you go. There's actually one right there. So we just got a tier one Bulgara poster. So we'll uh, move on to the next rotation. I'm not going to finish the witch rotation for purposes of the length of the video we'll just switch to the next rotation all right guys and like i said i also like to do the berserkers and the arch druid rotation so if you cross reference the map we're going to be in this quadrant over here now and a good way to find the berserkers is you can look for the green light coming out of the ground uh that's a good chance that there will be a berserker there so there's a berserker right here and then I simply like to just go and run one big circle and run through the rotation. So we will quickly just run through this just so I can show you guys. 
kill a bunch of berserkers. Maybe we'll get lucky and actually get another tier one poster for purposes of the video. So I like to immediately kill those two, run across to where the big heroic spawns, come down here, look for the green lights, kill these berserker here. And then go directly across, go to the green light again. And then go back across. Now you're going to see the green light right there, but however, there's an arch druid that spawns right here. So this is a mix between berserkers and arch druids. So you'll go ahead and kill the arch druid. And then go ahead and move directly across. Go ahead and jump up your mount here. Go up the hill. There will be another green light up here to your left. With another berserker spawn. Slaughter him. You turn around and then hit this arch druid spawn over here. And then continue your circle. Now you can go all the way up the hill if you want. There are additional spawns. However, this circle that I run I think is efficient and fast. This way the mobs will be respawning as you kill them. Depending on how fast you kill them. So once you kill him, you'll just start your circle again. There will be one more additional spawn. Uh, it looks like the big heroic just spawned in my map. So there's one more green light right over here that you'll kill. Go ahead and kill him. And so this whole rotation, unfortunately, we didn't get a tier one. Like I said, uh, you could farm this for hours upon hours upon hours and get a handful of posters. So that completes the uh, circle rotation for this, guys. Uh, and then you'll simply just come right back over where you started. Uh, the green light will spawn when they spawn. So depending on how fast you kill them, you might have to wait a few seconds, a few minutes. It depends how fast you kill them. So that's going to wrap up two of the four rotations. I'm not going to show you guys all four of the rotations. Uh, you can just see that it clearly did respawn right there. So that's why I like running the Berserker Druids because uh, by the time I do that circle, you could literally just keep running it over and over and over again. So whether you want to do the Witches, the Werewolves, the Berserkers and Druids, or the Vampires, that's completely up to you. Cross-reference the map. Link will be in the description. Let's go ahead and move on to the hunting system uh, and how you do that. All right, guys, and finally, how to actually do your wanted posters and farm your wanted posters. So if you go ahead and look at the map right here, it's pretty much dead center of the map is uh, the campsite where you need to go. Now, you'll learn where this is when you do the Dire Fang tutorial one. Uh, so you have to have a wanted poster to go in here. Now, like I said, this is an instanced hunt. So you can bring a uh, party with you if you want. You can do it solo whatever you prefer however it's your own instance uh, and you'll be able to do it at your own pace now there is a time limit that we will get into so let's go ahead and zone in here now you can feel free to watch the cutscene if you want however uh, if you're doing it in a party and you're running numerous posters most people are going to expect you to go ahead and you know skip cutscenes so now, you'll walk over up to Eva here. This is where you're going to place your wanted poster. It'll say choose your hunt. It'll bring up a list of all the posters that you currently have in your inventory. So for purposes of the video, we're just going to do Bulgara, which is a tier one. Now, Eva is going to give you three locations, guys. You'll notice on the right hand of the screen. It's going to say the first appearance, the second appearance, and the third appearance. Uh, you have to go and kill the hunt three times in the map so you have to go to the first appearance knock the hp down to x amount of percent and the the hunt will flee or he'll run away then you have to go to the second appearance again knock his hp down until he flees again 
And then finally, the third appearance is where you'll actually kill your hunt. Now, fortunately for you guys, I'm just going to bring up a map and hopefully you save the map. That way you will learn and memorize the locations. Uh, you only have 20 minutes to uh, complete the hunt. So you can't really dilly-dally around. You need to learn where you're going and you need to do it as quickly as possible. There's actually an achievement in game for doing a hunt within five minutes. So make sure to pick that up along the way. Uh, most of the tier ones are pretty easy to solo. Now the next thing on the list is the Taroka cards. Uh, each hunt you are able to put three Taroka cards down. Now fortunate enough for me, I have all the cards already. Now if you want to use the high deck, each card will give you additional loot. Now the thing to note is that it will give everyone in the party uh, the reward so it's better to do the hunts in a group of five that way five people are going to benefit From the cards now the cards will disappear once you use them these cards are only a one-time use guys That's why you have to keep farming uh, the Taroka cards themselves So if we look at just some of the high decks uh, like the artifact for instance It says the reward is one random armor piece item level 470 now the challenge is, during the hunt, players are unable to use artifacts and items. So you want to carefully pick which ones you want to use. For instance, the beast one is fairly easy. You're going to get a purple piece of salvage or a purple piece of gear that you may need. Uh, now the challenge is, during the hunt, all enemies will have increased movement speed, will pursue their targets longer, and their attacks instantly knock their targets off mounts. Now this one isn't terribly too hard. This is one that you might want to use, uh, etc. So you can go through all the cards you have. Now the high deck is mostly all gear pieces. The swords is going to be blue pieces with some purple pieces mixed in there. Now the stars are going to be... Uh, refinement points and they go up to flawless sapphires so for the master card of this you're going to get five flawless sapphires the nine of stars you're going to get nine emeralds eight seven six five uh etc etc the glyphs are going to be your barovian coins all the way up to 100 and then finally the coins themselves are rough ad now this does say rough ad however it is not rough ad at this time as filming of this video it is not rough ad this will actually give you astral diamonds so if you have uh you know let's just say the master nine and eight then you can get a thousand nine hundred and eight hundred because you can put three cards down right now you can mix and match these cards you can do whatever you want blah 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 for purposes of the video of course we're not going to put any cards down now like i said the first appearance second appearance and third appearance for instance we have the druid the beggar and the thief so very quickly i'm just going to bring up the map and i will show you guys where exactly to go so we need the druid is the first mark so you can see on the left hand of the screen where it says druid that's where you're gonna go that's where you're gonna run to uh the second one the beggar is right in the middle of the town and the third one is the thief which is across the wood bridge so i'm gonna bring this down really quickly and just cross reference it to the in game map so the druid is right here if we cross-reference the map I just showed you guys, the beggar is right in the middle of the town. And then finally, the thief would be right over here at the end of the bridge. Alright guys, and finally to wrap up the video, I will run through the hunt very quickly just to show you guys the mechanics and everything. So like I said, once you put your poster down and uh, she's given you the three locations and whether or not you put any cards down, that's up to you. Uh, for instance of the videos, I'll just put a card down just to show you guys. I'm not going to use it though So if you go ahead and put like, you know, this is just one random artifact armor piece So if you go ahead and put that down, it will then show on your interface that you do have a challenge down 
However, like I said, we're not going to uh, use that. So you can return it to your deck as well. Now, once you go through the portable and s the portal and start your hunt, you'll notice the time is ticking down. So you'll want to know where you're going ahead of time. So I did show you guys the map and I hopefully, you know, you guys utilize the map. Otherwise, you know, you have to memorize the locations. So the first one on the list is the Druid. So we will simply just run over here to the Druid. Go ahead and slap that real quick. And then we'll move to the beggar and then finally the thief. Uh, like I said, the tier ones aren't terribly too hard. Uh, I personally can solo um, all three of them, tier one, tier two, and tier three. Even the tier threes aren't horrible to do. However, if you're not adequately equipped, then you, know, you might want to bring friends or a group or whatever the case may be. So go ahead and engage your uh, target or your mark, if you want to call it. Uh, go ahead and slay him down. He will flee at a certain HP. So there he goes. Your mark is fleeing. He will spawn some adds when he flees. Go ahead and kill those. So now you have killed your first uh, target or your first mark. Now you'll move to the second appearance, which for us is going to be the beggar, which is inside the city. So go ahead and simply run over there. And you can see him already coming up on the uh, targeting system. So we'll go ahead and run here into the city. Go ahead and mow him down again until he gets to X amount of percent. He will flee again. And there he goes, he's now fleeing. He will spawn additional adds. Go ahead and kill the adds. And then go ahead and move to the third and final appearance, <clears throat> which this is where you will finally kill him and then get your loot. So you can see the time is still ticking down. We're uh, coming a little less than 18 minutes right now. So the third appearance is the thief, which we know is across the wooden bridge. So we will navigate over to the bridge. Go ahead and cross the bridge. He is coming up on our targeting system and he is right here. So go ahead, finish him off, mow him down, slaughter him, do the hokey pokey with him, whatever you want to do. And then we'll see if he drops us a tier two. Which, he did not drop us a tier 2, unfortunately. Uh, and he didn't drop us any gear, either. So, there you have it, guys. That is a tier 1. That's where the tier 2s will drop. They will automatically go into your inventory. Just like the tier 1s, they will automatically go into your inventory. So that's going to wrap it up for the video. If you guys have any questions about Mod 14, Ravenloft, and the hunting system, please be sure to leave me a comment below. Uh, links in the descriptions to both of the maps will be available for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and we will see you in the next one.